How do you guys, it's Luke at Luke's APS and in this video I'm going to build a wargaming setup with some bits that I've bought from Wish. I'll see you after this. So guys, Wish. For those that don't know what Wish is, um, it's a site full of cheap tat from China. Um, it's, it's almost like the online lucky lucky man. If you want a Rolex or if you want some marvellous Apple iPod watch or something like that, you can get it on there for next to note. Not that I advise buying them. <laughs> but anyway, I've found some diamonds in the rough. So let's get the camera down, let's show you what I've got and let's see what we're going to build. Really excited about this one because I was pretty shocked when it turned up on my door, especially for how cheap it was. See you in a second. Right guys, so what we get from Wish is a polythene bag. And in this polythene bag, there's a very nice grass mat. Now this could be rolled up, it can be stuck on things, it can be done quite a few things. I've bought two, and the, even though there was the same, they've come very different, so bear that in mind. As you can see, they're on like a, this black backing. It's like a, po like a polyfiber, really crappy carpet um, you can tear it by you know if you pu pull it and it'll, it'll pull apart like polyfiber like teddy bear stuff in but when you pull it out as you can see it's like it's two mil static grass all the same color on like a, a br they've put like a brown sawdusty texture into it now it is quite creased this one so i'll show you how to get the creases out in a second um, but it's a nice playing field to work on the size of this is one meter by one meter, so that's three foot, 10 centimeters for all you war gamers. So if you're playing games that are based on a three by three board, you could buy one of these and you've got enough to staple it on a board or you could just as it, keep it as it is and roll it up. Right, so what we need to do to get these creases out is I, I just wet it and leave it a day or so to dry out. All right, so all you gotta do, is just spray it with water and wet it completely through. So once you've done that, it's just a matter of pulling it tight a little bit, trying to get as many creases as you can out by hand. Once you've wet it, it becomes quite pliable and just pull it and stretch it about, trying to get the worst creases out. And as you can see, it's starting to flatten out quite nicely already and look quite natural. Leave this to dry and then we'll just roll them up and use them. But what I'll do is I'll get my dry one out so I can carry on doing this video without messing around. So yeah, as you can see, this, this mat is slightly different. The colouring's a bit different. There's a bit more grass on it. However, I prefer the look of this one to the other one. The other one's a bit too patchy. It looks like loads of little tufts. Whereas this has got some nicer, greener areas. But the detail in the soil's pretty nice and the static grass, it's a shame it's a single colour. If it were a couple of colours, it'd be far better. So guys, rather than just talking about it, let's turn this into a great gaming table. Now for adding static glass to this mat, and so it can roll up, um, so it's gonna be pretty robust and safe to play on and not get damaged when you're rolling it up and everything else, we're gonna to have to make a really strong glue. Now the way that I do that is I use an interior varnish. Don't matter whether it's matte, gloss or whatever, we'll sort that out later. Um, but it, it's pure acrylic varnish. Um, these cost about £15 from any hardware store for a big tin. So I'll put some in a container and we've filled it up to there. And then all you do is get some of the Luke's APS Fat Strand Glue. Uh, the reason I use this over PVA is this doesn't shrink and it turns into a, a, a rubber, a very, very flexible rubber. Um, so it'll be very hard wearing and keep the grass where it needs to be. And it's a lot thinner than PVA. So <clears throat> it doesn't thicken up the mixture too much. So I don't have to add as much water. We want this to be as thick as a, like maybe in between airbrush paint and normal paint, if that makes sense. And then just give it a quick mix. Now, first tip with this glue, um, work in small patches. The reason you do this is with the fast dry basing glue and the acrylic varnish, they're both very fast drying. Mixed together does slow one of them down, however, but the varnish does still dry in about 
15, 20 minutes. So with the fast dry basing glue in there as well, you haven't got very long. And especially with the carpet being very porous, it does soak it in and you need to get it done quickly. So I'm working on around a quarter of the mat at once. And with it not having any flow aid or anything like that, and it does sit on top, so you have got some time, but I wouldn't, su I wouldn't suggest doing more than a quarter of a mat at a time, depending on the size, obviously. Now this is the uh, Pro Applicator from Warworld Scenics, it's my favourite applicator. Um, and what I start off with is a mix of dead grass and autumn. Uh, this is 2mm in length and I just put this all over the gaming mat. As you can see with the static grass applicator what this does is it makes the static grass all stand up on end and look far better than just throwing it down on the mat. And then just repeat this process until you've completely covered it or covered what you want to see. Now. I thought I'll just over off the excess. Now this was a bit stupid. Um, I'm used to overing off dioramas and gaming tables and they're heavy. This gaming mat doesn't weigh anything at all. So my Dyson was literally destroying the mat. I tried two or three times and in the end I decided to just give up and give it a shake. Um, the mat's far too light to over it off. Now I'll go on with um, dead 4mm static grass from the Luke's APS range. If you'd like to buy any of these static grasses, do check the links below um, where you can buy my Ranger Scenics and support the channel. And what I do is I put this in selected areas. I don't really go all over. Um, I, I just try and blend in with the grass that's already on. Then I repeat the, the application of glue in little patches and I build up to 6mm dead static grass. Dead is one of my favourite grasses over the green. And once it's done, that's what you're left with. Now I'll leave this for about two days to dry out properly even though the glue does dry uh, but just give it time to settle in and once that's settled uh, you can roll it you can knock it around and that grass is gonna be fine um, I can't get over how strong this glue actually is it remembers its shape so it rolls out pretty well um, you do get the odd if you've left it folded or anything like that you will get like a bit of a crease but it's easy enough to fix now the good thing about these mats is you can just get some polystyrene and shove it underneath and get your ground formation. So if you was going to make an actual gaming table you could stretch this over and just stretch it over some polystyrene and everything else. Put, your, put some terrain on and it's ready to game. Um, I'm very happy with how the mats turned out. Um, I'm really happy with how strong it is and the glue. I think I'm onto a winner here. You might see it as a product in the near future. I just need to do some more testing. Um, but it is a very good glue. The mat's strong and robust, and I'm going to keep this in my cupboard and use it for my games of Saga and other skirmish games. What do you think? Put in the comments below, guys. So, guys, what do you think? Um, I'm, I mean, for 12 quid, it's a 3x3. It is a bit of a pity you can't go any bigger ones, but for, your, you know, your skirmish type games like Frostgrave, D&D, &D, um, maybe even some smaller scale like Vanguard by Mantic and things like that, it's a good size straight out the bat. Um, just, you could even just use it as a static grass mat on its own. It doesn't look too bad as you've just bought it. It's just a bit samey, samey colour. Um, but... It's pretty robust, it's pretty good. If you've got a static grass applicator and you've got a couple of different colours of static grasses, you can make them look amazing. Now that could be a roll-up mat or you could use it as just a static grass sheeting to put on your board. I mean, this is better than them paper black, uh, paperback mats and all sorts. It's a very good product and I think for 12 quid it's cheaper than buying flog. Um, so it is going to be one of them things that I'm probably going to buy a couple of and use for quite a few things if I'm doing static grass. But what do you think? Is it just some cheap chat from China? Cheap chat chat? <laughs> cheap tat from China? It's quite hard to say that. Um, put it in the comments. Anyway, but if you're liking these videos, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, check out all the links below to my shop. I also have uh, offer all the flocks and everything that I've used in this video. Um, I've even got a patron, so if you want to keep the lights on and keep me doing those two sorts of videos, check out my patron for all the different levels of pledging. All right, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next Friday for another video. Love, love, love.